Music is the language of the soul. For thousands of years, humans have been creating songs and symphonies which enthrall, inspire, and hypnotize. Our history and our culture is closely entwined with musical notes. It should come as no surprise that music has a profound effect on the human mind. We've all felt it before. Music helps us relax, it gives us goosebumps, and it encourages us to push ourselves to the limit. But what's the science behind all of this? Here are seven psychological facts about music. The Mozart Effect The Mozart Effect is one of the most popular scientific concepts surrounding music. It was developed by Dr. Gordon Shaw a few decades ago, and the premise is simple. Classical music makes you smarter. In his research, he claimed that listening to classical music can raise your IQ by up to nine points. The main basis for this line of thought has to do with spatial reasoning. This type of brain activity is used in math, chess, engineering, and science. According to the Mozart effect, classical music boosts spatial reasoning considerably. Maybe it's time to start playing some Mozart while we study. Music therapy helps repair brain damage. Brain damage is one of the most discussed topics in the world of psychology. Some people suffering from brain damage go through tremendous pain and discomfort, and their life is seriously impacted. But what if music could help? New research shows that music can actually repair brain damage, and it's been hypothesized that music therapy could be responsible for neurogenesis, which is the birth of new brain cells. Hearing music in your dreams is incredibly rare. Think about every dream you've ever had. Can you remember hearing music in a single dream? If you're like the vast majority of the population, you've probably never heard so much as a jingle in your dreams. According to a 2018 study, only 6% of all remembered dreams include music. Unsurprisingly, you're much more likely to hear music in your dreams if you're a musician or someone who listens to a lot of music. But even then, the number is still very low. Your entire brain is activated when you listen to music. There aren't many activities that make your whole brain light up, but listening to music is definitely one of them. When you listen to music, there's not a single part of your brain that isn't activated. Parts of the brain that are responsible for emotions, creativity, and even motor functions are working while listening to music. So if you're looking for a full brain workout, simply put on your favorite song. Music can improve language proficiency. The relationship between language and music is one of the most fascinating things in the world of psychology. To put it simply, these two things are very closely linked to one another. A 2012 study pointed out that despite what previous research suggested, music and language are not separate functions in the brain. Traditionally, speech functions were thought to exist in the left hemisphere of the brain, while music functions existed in the right hemisphere. But today, it's widely accepted that both hemispheres are responsible for music and speech. What this means is that music functions can actually improve speech functions, and vice versa. In a sense, both activities are working the same muscle. Your taste in music says a lot about your personality. Have you ever wondered why you like certain music? Have you ever wondered why your favorite songs might sound absolutely terrible to others? The answer lies in our unique personalities. Numerous studies have shown that if you like a certain musical genre, you're probably going to have certain personality traits. For example, a 2004 study found that extroverts were more likely interested in music in a general sense, but they were also more likely to enjoy pop music. That's just one example, and there's tons of research on this one topic. Think about your favorite song. What does it say about your personality? Music therapy helps children with autism. Remember what we said about music lighting up the entire brain? Well, this makes music therapy an ideal choice for children with autism. When both hemispheres are activated, children are self-aware while still forming relationships with others. Research has shown that this type of therapy is incredibly beneficial for autistic children, as it encourages them to interact with their instruments and communicate with others in a band, ultimately creating music in a collaborative effort. What do you think your favorite song says about you? Comment below. Thanks for watching.